Now to new disturbing details about the Tomball area woman accused of hoarding more than 130 dogs. Rescuers now believe that the woman was so determined to increase her collection of collies, she used fake identities to stockpile even more pets. Drew Caritas has this story only on KHOU 11 News. The number of dogs pulled from this property just outside Tomball 13, 14, 15, 16, keeps going up. This is nothing like I've ever seen in my life. This is the second time in less than a week that volunteers have been out to the home of Dr. Lane Kamek. No air in here. Dark, no lights. I don't know how they survived in here. Volunteers are baffled as to how she fits so many dogs in such a confined space. They say they've found evidence she's been using four aliases to collect collies wherever she can. No comments. Hours after she admitted to lying in federal court about the number of dogs, rescuers seized 19 more collies and seven cats. <laughs> that brings the total amount of dogs to 139, now in the custody of Houston Collie Rescue. And over the last couple of days, I knew there was supposed to be no dogs in there, but we, every night we hear barking. Cody Harris among the neighbors who couldn't sit back and watch any longer. You've seen these people work themselves to death, and so finally I, they said, can you help? We said, yes, yes. Neighbors are proving they're more than willing to get their hands dirty in what's being called filthy conditions beyond belief. It was just such a sad situation. You know, why would you not want to participate in that? <laughs> The community has also been donating and lending whatever they can, including this large horse trailer used to transport the animals. We were driving in this car. A woman saw the sign for Houston Collie Rescue, rolled down her window, handed us 20 bucks. Every bit helps here at Camp Collie, where the dogs are being nursed back to health. They've actually all been groomed, they've been microchipped, they've received their collars, their identification collars. The rescue estimates it has already spent $37,000 on all of these collies, and with this new batch that just came in, they expect to spend much more. 100 people have signed up to give them new homes, and volunteers say they'll do whatever it takes to give these dogs a second chance. Drew Caritas, KHOU 11 News.